Hey guys, it's Rachel with Mr. Nola's Glitter. How y'all doing today? Bear with me one second and let me get set up. I'm a little, I'm five minutes early. Whoop, whoop. I am on fire, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna get it set up so I can make sure I'm seeing you guys. I'm gonna move my keyboard because we all know when I epoxy, I will fling epoxy some places. Hey, 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 hey. All right. So, how are y'all? Happy, what day is it? Thursday. Hey, woo woo. All right. So, if you, this is your first time joining me on a live, welcome. Um, I hope that I can. Um, give you some insight or give you some tips that you didn't already know if you already know all this um, maybe you just enjoy the banter or hanging out which is cool um, I like to say hello to everyone um, let's see yay awesome hey guys hey all right so I am gloving up this will also be the first time that I worked uh, work with epoxy on a live in a very long time because I try to stay away from epoxy because epoxy hates me. So I have my um, mask that I will be using. It is um, my RZ mask. It has um, a filter on the inside. Um, it has a little pincher thing here. I will link. I will leave the link. I don't know if they're in stock anymore because of COVID, but. Um, um, this helps. Um, I know I probably need a full respirator and all that, but I also wear glasses, and so I, it's hard to put anything over my face. I want you guys to remember that chemical, I mean, um, epoxy is a chemical. So do your research, um, protect your body, protect your lungs, protect your family, make sure you're ventilated, whatever you're doing. Um, so um, I just wanted to let you guys know that this will be the first time you guys see me in my mask, I think. I don't know. I might have had it before at some point or whatever. Um, but with working with epoxy, um, I, ha I, have to, I have to start protecting myself. Um, I should have years ago. I wish I would have. So take it from me. Um, wear a mask. Make sure your gloves. Make sure you wash your hands even after you wear gloves. If you could wear goggles, wear goggles. I mean, this is your life, okay? So... Um, Hey, 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 um, cut off Louisiana. My gloves are from, I don't know, this is the brand I have. I'm, I'm kind of like a glove freak. Um, I buy, I bought, I buy them a lot because I'm afraid to run out of them. Um, and I have tiny hands, so I have to use the small, right? Tiny hands on this big thing. But yeah, so I have to, I have to, um, I have to wear small. So um, the mask is from RZ. It's an RZ mask. This is the this is the um, this is the brand. Um, I will link it in the description below. Um, and they have different <clears throat> excuse me different filters and stuff like this. And this is the I don't know. I can't remember the filter it was. Um, it's the I don't know yipes okay so all right so we are going to um, do a sunset beach tumbler okay so um, I wanted to do the whole shebang with you guys so I have started already so I created this ombre I'm gonna show you how I did this but this one's going to be as that that magical thing like as seen on TV or like with the magic of television bazinga zanga we move over to the next one right so I'm gonna show you how we got this, and then we're gonna put some, um, we're gonna put some waves, some white waves. So kind of like the traditional beach tumbler, except um, this is this is to me is gonna be a sunset. So I found a picture that um, inspired me, the colors inspired me, and these are all the glitters from our pearl collection. So I have created a beach, a, a sunset beach. Um, set for you guys so you can get everything that I'm going to use to make this cup with one click so that will be linked in the description below um, I don't know if it's an organic filter it's I wish Melissa was on here because Melissa knows the number um, she actually had to send had to send me some because when I first got it they didn't have it um, it's like maybe it's a number or something 
Hi, Linda. Um, so yeah. So um, what I used, the colors that I used were, are, um, this is all glitters from our pearl collection. So this is the juniors. So we have them in chunky too, but you guys are gonna be amazed. Um, so pearls are not usually my jam. I don't really care for pearls because um, I like a big banging sparkle, but this line of pearls sparkles so much under epoxy. So um, you guys are gonna be blown away what it looks like under epoxy. Um, N95, no, it's not an N95. That's like a regular mask. Hey, Jill. Hey, Jill, do you remember what filter that we have for these? Did you get one of these masks too, the RZ um, mask? I can't remember what type. Maybe it's on here. Oh, look, here we go. It's an active, it's a F1, active carbon fiber uh, filter. F2, F2, or 3. Okay, so maybe this is the wrong filter. Oh, no, it is an F2. My bad. I just can't see. Look, I feel like an old lady. I'm like, yes, yeah, so it's an F2. That's the filter I have. I think there is some some bigger filters out there, but I didn't. I, they didn't have it. F2 and F3. Okay, thank you, Teresa. Yes, so that's the filter that I have for mine. Um, so the colors that I used are Oceana Junior. Then we went with the purple, with his, which is Mr. Ed, Mr. Ed Junior, okay. Then we went into that poppin' pink, which is Drago's Jr. They're sold out. Okay, yeah, so that's probably why. Um, oops. Drago's Jr. Um, and then there is Perino's Jr. And then lastly, Cuda Brown Jr. Okay. Hi, Rachel. Any chance your tumblers will come back in stock? Um... Deborah, I don't sell tumblers online. We only sell tumblers in our store. So, woo, um, I don't know if that's what you're asking. So, I don't sell them online. I do have a few retailers that I'll, I can link you to that I buy all my cups from. Um, but, yeah, we don't sell them online because there's tons of people that do that really, really well online already. So, we just offer for our local customers uh, to pick up their cups in store. So, all right, and then I will be using um, Cajun Sparkle Gold. Um, this is my white mica that has like a gold shimmer to it. Um, and then, of course, my go-to um, Pinata Blanco White Alcohol Ink. Okay, so in the in your in your one-click pack, if you want everything that we're going to use, you're going to get um, five. Um, they don't come in shakers. These are just my shakers. Um, you can purchase the shakers. We have them for $1.25 on the site on, on MrNolasGlitter.com. Um, but you'll get these five colors that I used. You'll get um, a Cajun Sparkle and then the white alcohol ink. Um, you can use any glitter that you want. Um, you, can, you can use this technique with any glitter, any color combination. So this is just, um, this is just how I've done mine, okay? So this is not meant to be um, um, a dir like directions with this but directions like hey try this right okay hi Wanda all right so um, then I have these um, mica spoons that we sell on the website I'll be scooping um, for my mica into my cups I have my gloves I have mi little mixing cups here um, and um, my mixing spoons okay Hi, Crystal. You can order from MrNolasGlitter.com, um, and I will put the link in the description to um, get everything for this cup with one click, okay? So as soon as we're done, everything will be listed below. Um, yes, one-click shopping is fun stuff. Thank you. Hey, Dana. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, going to, going to, going to, going to go ahead, and um, I'm going to put my mask on because I'm going to mix a little bit of epoxy. I'm going to point you down so you can see. Um, and then I'm going to show you how I, um, I use um, epoxy to adhere my glitter um, to my cup. And, um, and then we'll move this off. Then we'll put the one that's already done. And then we'll do the waves on the top. Sarah, I have never used Crystal Lac. All right. I hope you guys can hear me. Woo, woo, woo. All right. So... You wanna see how cute I look with my mask? Boop. All right, cool. 
All right, so um, to do the epoxy method, you don't need very much epoxy. Um, my friend Linda showed me these bottles. They're on Amazon. I will link you. Um, I put my epoxy in here, and um, normally our epoxy uses, we have pumps for our epoxy, but um, with our new epoxy, we don't have pumps. So these bottles um, give a smaller volume pump. So um, I really, I'm really liking these. Hi Nancy, hi Vanessa. So I'm going to use a one pump of part A. Um, actually two pumps, because this is a small pump. Okay, and then I'm gonna use two pumps of part B. One. Hi Leanne, hi Diane. All right, and then I'm gonna use my um, my epoxy or my stir stick, and I will stir this together. So I'm using the Quick Set epoxy that we sell by um, Stone Coat. So Quick Set epoxy is a fast reacting epoxy meaning that it will dry to the touch in about three hours, depending on um, depending on your um, temperature in your room. Yes, I do love them, Linda, a lot. I just started using them today, and I'm like, I like it because my other pumps would give me too much epoxy, and I would be wasting it, but I really like that these are smaller. Um, I do not sell these pumps, Susan. These um, I link you to. I bought these bottles off of Amazon. You're welcome, Paxton. Yeah, it's a really comfy mask. All right, so when I mix an epoxy, I just like to make sure to scrape down all my sides. I swish my stick off to make sure everything that I, I put in there is getting mixed up together. I don't really worry about the base, um, the bottom cup, I mean the bottom layer if it has bubbles because um, I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun a little bit, um, but essentially glitter is going over the top of this, so you're not going to see this epoxy at all. Um, it's RZ, um, RZ mask or something. I'm not sure, I'll, I'll link it whenever I put the description. Hi, Dorley. All right, so I um, do that, and then I take make sure to take a paper towel and um, just wipe off my star stick and it's ready to use again. No need to wash it. Silicone wipes right off, right? Okay, so um, yes, Vicki, it's it's pretty, it's very, they're very, they're measured. I don't know exactly how much it is, but um, yes. All right, so I do not epoxy on here anymore because I found I was using way too much. So, um, I'm going to hold my cup and I'm gonna show you just how little of epoxy. So if you see, I just, I'm just putting my finger in there a little bit. And I'm just, I'm rubbing that epoxy into that cup as much as I can. Um, Think of putting foundation on your face, ladies. Um, you don't really want a lot. You just want enough to cover it. Um, so that's what I do. That's how I um, put my pot. This is how I do my cups now. I used to pour it on the cup, but I found that I was using way too much epoxy and it's a waste. So I just use very little when I glitter my cups. And this dries super fast too. Oops. Um, Frida, can the silicone, can the quick set epoxy be used in silicone molds? Yes and no. It depends on the type of mold that you have. That's not 100% recommended. Some of the molds, um, some of the molds are thinner and um, the epoxy gets really hot. 
I have not had a problem with using the quick set and the blue molds. Um, but, um, um, but some of the other molds it, that I don't recommend using it in. So it's kind of use at your own risk. Some mold, some mold makers will tell you absolutely not. So you are taking a chance using the quick set in your molds. Um, I use a thicker mold and I don't have problems. So um, your mileage may vary, okay? All right, and then don't forget your bottom. Just a little bit. I mean, you do not you you do not need a lot of epoxy at all. I let Linda do all that hard work for me and figuring out if the pumps were good. So when she had them for a while and she was like, "I love them," I'm like, "Okay, now it's time for me to get some." All right, so. As you can see, there's like no, there's barely any epoxy on here. So much so, this is how much we have wasted. I say wasted, but you could put that in a mold if you wanted to. So I'm going to do first glove change, okay? Always make sure um, to take extra precaution. Don't get epoxy on your skin. Trust me when I tell you it's not fun, okay? You don't have a reaction now, you will eventually have a reaction. Oops, and I put a hole in that glove. Let's see. So there's so little epoxy on this cup, I'm not even worried about turning it right now because there's, what the, Sam Hale. Um, so there's like literally no epoxy on this cup, right? Let me grab a couple more gloves just in case. Um, the epoxy stir this stir stick we sell them on our website it's called a uh, it's called a stir stick hi victoria all right so let me grab a couple more gloves just in case all right so i am going to i am going to turn it on okay cool so um, I am gonna just take my heat gun really quick and make sure I don't have any like crazy bubbles on here, but I have very little epoxy on here, so. Some people use a torch. I'm scared that I'm gonna burn my, my um, dust down. So I use um, an embossing gun or if you have a heat gun, you can do that. Um, use whatever you have. No, uh -uh, that was me. That was manually, me t me stirring. <laughs> All right, so let me grab a piece of paper so I can have a catch-all under my... Um, so, now, um, I am not going to glitter on here either, guys. So, I have better control when I hold it. So, that's why you guys are at a different angle today because um, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so the colors we're gonna do in this order, we're gonna go with Oceana, then we're gonna go with Mr. Ed's, okay. Then we're gonna go with this poppin' pink Dragos. Um, Christy, you used it for way too long, sister. Then it's going to be um, Perino's Junior. And if you used it with Quick Set, you only need a couple, you only need it for a few seconds. And then the last on the cup is going to be Cuda Brown. I'm also not going to change my paper down here because I have a mix that, I, um, that I'm using for something, so I'm good. Hey, girl, hey. All right, so first color, we're gonna use Oceana Junior. I start at the top, 
and sprinkle. And turn. Now instead of shaking my cup down this way to get the excess, I go like that. I'm gonna take this off while I glitter. All right, then we're gonna take Mr. Ed Jr. Hey Mindy. Next, so this is kind of just a hard line um, and then I'll show you how to blend them together when we go back for the second round of them. So this is just kind of giving your eyeballs somewhere where your, your glitter is gonna be. Again, I shake it down. Um, Drago's Junior, right? So these cups will actually be for me and my BFF if our vacation actually stays. We have been planning an anniversary trip for almost two years now and it's been canceled um, four times in the last two weeks. And we are dying to be beach bound. So hopefully these cups will give us some good Good luck to be beach bound. And then um, the last one is Cuda Brown Jr. You could definitely change your paper in between. Don't be mad because I didn't. I already have a plan, okay? And then don't forget your bottom. Now, now, I don't care if it goes this way. So now, um, so you have your, like your, your little strained lines. Um, Barbara, we don't sell our glitter by the bottles. These are just our shakers that we sell. These are four ounce shakers and there's two ounce, each bag of glitter has two ounces. All right, so now we have your, like your, your basic outline. Um, and so now I'm gonna hold my shaker higher up and dance it in between the colors and make sure any places that look kind of shiny, I'm hitting it with glitter because that means it's got too much epoxy on it. When I say that, see how those little shiny spots right there? That means you need more glitter there. So you essentially don't want that, right? So then I went from top to bottom. Now when I go re-ombre, I'm gonna ombre, I'm gonna fill in from bottom to top. It's like a sandy, um, like, uh, like a light brown sugar, Jennifer. So I'm holding my shaker higher. Letting it dance in between those two colors to blend it. Barely shaking the glitter out, guys. Barely. All right, now I'm going back with this um, Drago's Junior. Yes, the mica is on the website. It's called Cajun Sparkle. All right. I'm letting it fall in between those two colors so it's picking up any extras that I have blending it through. Okay. Mr. Ed Jr. Yes, Shauna, when I get done, um, it will be available. You can look up Sunset Beach set if you want it now, but I'll link it in the description below. Sunset Beach Pack is what this is under, and you'll get everything in one click. And then make sure you, to, when you're going in between those colors, you want to hold your glitter shaker a little higher and let it dance in between there. Okay. And then the last one again, which is the first one, Oceana Junior.
So you can definitely glitter this if it's on your turner if you want. I just feel like I have just a little bit more control. Um, I can get lower, I can move my, move the cup up and down, I can move my, I don't know, I just feel like I have more control. All right. There you go. And so there is our ombre. So, I don't even have, because I use so little of epoxy, I did not, I don't even have to put this on the turner, so I'm gonna put this on the back side, and then we're gonna work with the one that's already dry, okay? One second. On a drying, a drying stand. All right, and then let me put this in my other shaker. Even the fallout from this glitter is beautiful. Put this over here so I can put that in the shaker. All right. I use these um, four inch chip brushes to clean up, um, to clean up my mess off my desk. Um, and yes, my desk is clean, believe it or not. So we are done with the glitter. We will not use the glitter anymore in this cup. So we are back down here. Um, I am going to mask up again because I'm going to mix more epoxy. So this is the one that um, I glittered and epoxied earlier. It's got some weird stripes going on. Um, I don't know what happened, but I'm not worried about it because it's gonna be covered up anyways. So, it is on the turner now. So, all right, so I'm gonna put my mask back on because I'm going to mix the epoxy and we're going to heat it up. So anytime I heat epoxy, I need to make sure to wear my mask. Hi, Ashley. All right, so back to the epoxy. Now, hmm, I think we're not gonna use quick set for this. That's what we're not gonna do, so hang tight. Let me find my epoxy. I have some epoxy. Ms. Janola, do you have some epoxy? Do I have some art code in there? I forgot that I'm doing this top layer. regular hypoxy. Hold on one second guys, I forgot. I'm doing this layer and I don't want to use quick set. So let me find my regular epoxy. Let's see. That's quick. Quick, quick, quick. All of it's quick. Sorry, 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 sorry. Magic of live television. All right, so I'm gonna be using this for, um, I'm gonna be using the art coat for my top um, because I'm going, I need to heat this top layer and manipulate it. Um, yes, Tara, I should. Um, I should be wearing it the whole time. Not gonna lie, I should. Um, I'm going to heat it to, um, I'll show you. I'm going to show you why I'm going to heat it. Let me grab a mixing cup. I actually run two air purifiers and um, um, circulators in, um, uh, in my studio to move out um, some of the smell so the smell doesn't linger. But yes, you should. <laughs> Mindy, I think I got mine because of you. <laughs> I think I seen you in it. And I was like, I have to have that rainbow thing. So yeah. This is going to be a whole lot extra of epoxy. So I am going to have a lot left over, but 
I will have one of the girls come put it in a mold. Um, I don't have pumps for that. So, um, this is how I measure. That's funny. Um, don't put it. Need one more little drop. This is the fun. I hate mixing epoxy. I hate it with a passion. I need one more little drop. So we're going to chit chat while I'm mixing this epoxy because it's going to take a minute because it's a lot of epoxy. I think I have a mold. I have a couple molds that need to be filled. So with the magic of, t of live, you're going to watch me get to fill a mold too, I guess. Okay, so that goes here. Um, Jean, you can get them on Amazon. I will link in the description below. Um, So you can um, pick it up. Um, or if um, if Linda's here, Linda, if you want to post your link, you can. <sighs> Ashley, that's the same. I'm ha I talk so much, I feel like I'm like um, about to pass out. <laughs> Wendy, I'm going to show you. It's, it's a technique that I use on this cup. And I'll show you why I heat it. Ooh, no, Miss Patricia, that is too hot. 100 degrees is too hot. Margaret, so what do you do with molds? Um, so you just pour epoxy into them, and you can create um, keychains or earrings or um, magnets or pretty much anything. Oh, yes, the name of the epoxy. You can get this on our website. Um, let me wipe off the bottle because it's kind of icky so this is what I use um, I use the stone coat countertop epoxy um, this is the art coat so this is the final coat the one I used before was um, their quick coat so it's a fast reaction epoxy yes um, Linda yes for the pumps if you can Karen, um, no, I'm not using quick coat because I'm gonna I'm gonna manipulate it with heat. So I don't want I don't want to use heat with that quick coat because that is a bad deal, y'all. So you don't do that. Nope, nope, nope. Can I help you with this? My chunky glitter doesn't seem to want to blend with my white fine glitter. Is that normal? Maybe I'm just being picky. Um, Kay, when you say don't want to blend, like, are you talking about doing an ombre? or like you're trying to create your own mix with chunky and white. Yes, Margaret, exactly, no waste. Hey, Melissa. Yeah, I do have one, but it's, it's over in my other workstation. It's not over here, so. Um, I, I do. I don't use it as much anymore. I'm waiting for the Bowens to come out with, with a new one. So, yes, this has bubbles in it, whatever, what have you. I mix epoxy like I'm mixing a cake. Um, so, uh, don't do like me. Um, but I'm going to break this down. This is going to sit for a minute. There's going to be a lot of heat involved, so I'm not worried about the bubbles. <laughs> Diane, can you use Tacket on this cup? Yeah, you could if you wanted to. Sure, you definitely could. It would it would have a little it would have a little different um, look than this, but yeah. It's 
So I'm just, I, I, um, I pretty much mix my epoxy like I'm mixing a cake. So, all right, so I think it is pretty much mixed. So what I'm gonna do is wipe my mixing stick so I don't put my arm in it. Ask me how I know to do that. You don't even. Um, I have my little um, cups here. I'm gonna turn this just slightly and you just slightly this way so you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so the art coat has a long working time. That is correct. Um, so if you're, ch you're chunky and you're white are not, I mean, you're chunky and you're fine are not really going to blend. I mean, they'll, so what I do when I do like a chunky and a fine, I'll do my fine, like all the way down to about here. And then I'll take my chunky and then I'll go up over the top of the fine. And then that's how I ombre that. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to break this down into um, basically two cups. Well, actually, I'm only going to do it. I'm only going to split it a little bit. I'm going to actually do that. And then I'm actually going to do it a little bit more over here. So just like the regular beach, the first beach cup that I did, um, I'm going to have regular epoxy that I'm going to put a um, like a, a flood coat on here so this is actually the your layer um, your I can't remember what I normally call it sometimes I can't think um, like your base coat you want something that your other epoxy is going to slide around on okay uh, your your um, colors your micas and stuff all right all right, um, so then I'm gonna take my Cajun Sparkle, um, which is a white mica powder that is, um, I don't know why it's not open. Oh, it's because it's on the other side. And my um, little um, mica spoon thing here. And I'm gonna take the one that has the lease in it. I'm gonna put, I don't know, three, four, five scoops in there. Let's try five, okay? I'm not going to close it just in case. I'm going to slowly, I already got epoxy on me. I'm going to slowly mix it up in here. Because if you go in there willy nilly, you're going to have micas flying everywhere. Okay. So. But look how pretty. I don't know if you can, if it's really going to pick that up. Let me get it all mixed up. But this is like the most beautifulest like goldy white shimmery hmm it's really pretty so it's not like a pure stark white it's got some gold um it like reflects gold and i think it's going to be really pretty in that sunset because sunsets pick up like all the um evening colors all right so I have that. All right, so I'm gonna set that to the side. It's good. Um, make sure to get me a paper towel. I'm gonna wipe my stick off because anywhere I sit this stick down, I am determined that's where I'm gonna put my elbow. I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know how it happens, but that happens. So I always try to wipe my stick off before I set it down because I'm trying not to get epoxy on my elbows <laughs> okay um so then this one i'm going to take um my white alcohol and maybe maybe this one is dried i thought i had another one. Oh, here's the other one let me try this one so this is um, blanco white from pinata you know it's my my go-to what the saying? All right, so I took this top off. Don't do that because you're gonna make a mess. Don't do what I do. 
it's messy. It's messy being me. Okay, so don't do that. But so then I mix it with here. So this is going to be kind of like, um, kind of like the foam, if you will. So this is kind of translucent. The mica is kind of pearly and this is translucent. So you're gonna have two different color whites that you're gonna um, blow up essentially for your, um, your waves. And it's gonna give it that depth because one is, you know, this is kind of trans, once you put this on your cup, it's kind of translucent and you're gonna have that carrier um, layer that it's gonna glide on top of. So it's gonna make it even lighter, okay? Wipe your stick off. Okay, Susan, I hope you take care of yourself. I hope you're feeling better. Oh yeah. Yeah, you don't wanna, you don't, I don't, you don't put heat on that facet, no ma'am. Ooh, that is um, horrible. Ask me how I know. Because see my, see my, um, my uh, mat under here? I did um, heat set in a mold and then, <laughs> then I used heat. I almost burnt my whole desk down. Don't do that, please, don't do that. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way so I don't spill it on me. I'll move this a little bit closer. Hang on. Oops, there we go. Did y'all see that? All right, yeah, so don't worry about those weird things. So um, I've already dusted this off, so you're not really gonna get any glitter. Um, let me change this glove because it's got a hole in it and just as soon as I start, I'm going to put it on the bottom of my hand. Okay, alcohol inks are fun. They're this most forgiving because alcohol inks are actually um, so fluid and so organic. It kind of makes like anything you do really arty. So I like my cup turning the other way. My fingers in there weird. I like it going that way. So I, when I put my epoxy on, it goes against my hand, if that makes sense. So I'm not putting a whole bunch on here. I'm just getting this where I have a carrier layer. So the next layer of epoxy I put on here um, rolls and moves and does all the things. I love this art coat for um, alcohol inks and micas because there's such a long um, working time with it. It actually lets you do a lot of things for a long time. Um, I wouldn't put heat at all with your quick set. There's no reason to have heat with your quick set. Um, I don't recommend it. 10 out of 10 would not recommend, okay? So, um, I just don't, <laughs> I barely hit it with a heat gun. Um, and that's if only when um, I'm super worried about bubbles, which nine out of 10 times, I don't worry about bubbles at all. It's not, it's not something that I lose sleep over. <laughs> yeah. Um, and really bad fumes, really bad fumes when you, when you use heat with that guys, really, really bad fumes will give you an instant headache. It's just, it's just not good. Don't do it. Just don't do it. All right. So I'm just making sure I have a nice even coat. Yeah, I think we've all had a little run in with um, quick set and heat like, ugh. It's bad. All right. See how pretty that, that um, those pearls are under epoxy? I can't get over how shiny they are under the epoxy. I was really quite shocked. All right, so it's kind of thick, which is okay, because a lot of it is going to be moved and I'm probably going to drip a lot off, which reminds me I need to get a mat under here. Um, just making sure that it's all at the rim of my cup, right? 
Hi, Rachel. All right. So, I think that's pretty good. So, um, 27th time changing gloves. One second. All right. Paper towels. Re up my paper. Whoopsie. My paper towels. Okay. So, um, gloves on again. All right. Oh my gosh, why do I keep tearing those? My superhuman strength, that's what it is. There we go. There we go. All right. Glove one. Um, so I used quick set on the bot on on when I did the other one. So this one was done before lunch. So as long as um, until your glitter, your your set, it's set. So um, nope, never tried, never tried K KS resin. We um we sell um we sell the stone coat. So I'm a stone coat woman. Um, Jamie, no, I forget about my, um, my, uh, tumbler shield, which, um, it's kind of crazy because they probably would help. I know a lot, I have a lot of, um, I touch that. I have a lot of friends that love the tumbler shields. I just forget to use them. All right. So what I'm going to do is. I am going to stream a little bit of my gold, my um, my my mica, my Cajun sparkle. I don't want big globs, but so I will um, hold it up and hold it high. You, the higher you hold it, the smaller little streams that you get. And I didn't put anything under my mat. My uh, cup. So I'm not putting it all the way to the top because I really just kind. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna move it up there with the heat. So I'm just kind of concentrating down here at the bottom. All right, so. All right, so get your napkin, wipe your stick off, find something to put under your turner so you don't get this all over your desk. One second. It's kind of late, but let's see if I can kind of clean it up a little bit. I know I'm going to come back later and put my elbow right in that. Okay. So that's my little thing so it doesn't get on there. Okay. Um, then I'm going to take my white. Look how pretty that gold is on there. And so then I'm going to take my white that I did with the um, pinata and layer it over the top as well. You can do this any way. You can do it diagonal. You can do it straight up and down. You can put globs on it and then blow the globs up if you want to. This is just the way that I do it. So you can see the contrast between the white and then that um, Cajun sparkle. So it gives it, a, it gives it a little bit of dimension. And because you have that carrier lay, layer on there, it's gonna move around really well, okay? So wipe your stick off before you go on to the next step again. Um, look up Tumblr Shields LLC. Um, Rula and her husband are the ones that, um, that make them and uh, they're pretty cool. I'll link you guys if you want. All right, so I have my heat gun now. 
And so this is what I'm using the heat for. I'm making sure that it's heated up. And I'm going to use my heat and I'm going to blow this towards the top of the cup. So the heat is actually thinning out the epoxy, which is letting it move around the cup a little bit more. So the warmer your epoxy is, the more fluid, of course, and the more it moves and the more waves that you're gonna get. So you don't wanna use too much. You wanna stop and let it set for a second. Um, Cause I don't want it moving too much, but um, I'm gonna, pause and then go back in and then um, I am going to um, just like I did with the other one I'm going to make this even more concentrated right so I have that base layer of that on there so I'm gonna take my alcohol ink again and in the white that it does not squirt out I'm going to add some more white so I'm going to make it even more concentrated Okay, and then I'm gonna add some more Cajun Sparkle. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, instead of adding more Cajun Sparkle, I'm gonna add just a drop of this to this Cajun Sparkle to give it a little, to make it a little more white with that gold, okay? And let me, so that's what it looks like. So now it's a little bit whiter. It's still gold, but it's a little darker. So it's a, it's gonna be a little darker on top. So it's all about giving it different colors and um, giving it depth, right? Wipe your stick off. Hi, Leslie. Um, you can use a blow dryer. Um, the only thing is blow dryers are meant, um, it actually blows a lot of air where a heat gun um, doesn't blow a lot of air, it moves a lot of heat. So um, if you're looking just to blow it up, yes, you can use a blow dryer. Just be careful because um, well, there's stuff that's in every blow dryer and um, it'll blow out onto your cup. All right, so we have that. Let's see, Let's see if I can turn it the other way. So you can see when I stop in it, it's still moving. So we're gonna reverse it, and um, and now you see it's dripping down here. Um, so we're gonna reverse it and let it roll the other way, so it gives it an even. So when you're doing inks, sometimes it will um, um, fish eye on you where it looks like there might be oils from your hands that the epoxy is not covering you can either touch it with your finger like I just did and then it'll cover it up or take your stick and like um, move it over that space because for some reason it sometimes it just leaves voids on there all right so we're gonna go back in with the white that I made darker And I might go just a little higher with this one. I still won't go all the way to that blue yet. Okay. All right. Wipe my stick off. Then we're gonna go back into this Cajun Sparkle and go again. With that gold. Now you don't wanna overwork this make sure you get stuff on your bottom the bottom 
will do whatever it wants to do, but I always just make sure I put a little bit on the bottom. So I'm going to let that spin for a few minutes, and then I'm going to take the heat and blow um, basically at the top to give it some cloud look. All right, so... I love that Cajun sparkle over that glitter. It's like so pretty. I'm not going to hit very much down here because I'm really digging the way that looks um, a lot. I love the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken it one more time and do some little spoops at the top. I don't know what the spoop is, but just pretend like you know what it is, a little spoop soup. But I'm not gonna use the white so much. I'm gonna darken my gold with a little bit more of this white alcohol. There we go. So now I'm, I'm going for a little bit of a fluffy top maybe. Like a little bit of clouds, perhaps. Yeah, Cajun Sparkle is just gorgeous. And just as well, just like it looks good like over this, it looks good over like everything. All right, a little spoosh. All right, so, and then I think that's enough. For the top and wipe this off again all right then i'm going to take the heat and then i'm just going to go um bloop bloop at the top really dark at the top so I am blowing a lot of it off up here but I think I'm done y'all I don't think I don't want to do nothing else to it because it's super pretty like this what y'all think I love how it's just like flowy right Mmm, that's so pretty. I think I love it. I think I love it. What do y'all think? So hopefully it kind of looks like my picture that I was inspired by. Um, I will cut some vinyl palm trees that kind of make it look like it's... Um, you know, like the silhouette of the palm tree or whatever. Of course, I'm going to have a name on it. Hopefully, I'll show a picture of it. Me drinking of it on the beach somewhere. Let's see. Okay, split it up. Okay, let's stop it and go the other way. Nope, still going the same way. Wait, wait, wait. Come on and turn the other way. Oh, it's being a pain in the butt. So I want to turn it the other way. Um, but let's see if it's going to listen to me. Uh, 
Oh, that's so pretty. That's such a pretty sight right there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Shauna. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm just making sure that there's no um, skipped spaces or there's no... Um, um, Y'all, that's so pretty. I'm super proud of this. I'm not going to lie. Super proud of this. Um, making sure that there's no um, uh, fish eyes or anything so that I have to cover or whatever. But I think the only thing is there's a lot right here. I can maybe scoop just a tiny bit off of that. There was a, a bubble. So... Um, yeah, there we go. So now it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. Okay, all right. So let me see if my other cup, maybe we can do the other Let me check on my uh, hypoxy and see. That's the good thing with that, with, about this um, art coat is you have a lot of working time. Um, so um, we might be able to get the other one done too. Let me move a place and see if I can take this off really quick. Do this one too. You want to do it again? Shall we do it again? Let's go. All right. So we are going to put a base coat, a carrier coat of epoxy on the cup that we glittered. So I didn't brush this off, so I'm going to have some. Hope this is enough epoxy. Here we go. if I have enough to get it going, but we should. Maybe. Let's see. Um, I plan on just putting um, probably um, I don't know. I'm probably the picture that I used for inspiration had a palm tree silhouette on it, um, but I might just just put vinyl name. All right, so I think this is this is good. We are going to glove change again, and then we will we'll add our stuff. So I have a little right there so I had some mixatives right there going on because I didn't brush this off but that's okay um, I am using stone coats art coat epoxy so it has a very long working window um, but it also has an extended setup time so normally you would do your epoxy would set up in like 12 hours this takes about a full 24 hours for it to be set okay All right, so back and we will go again. Yep. Let's 
Sonola thinks he's funny when he comes in. He has to make this big loud sound. So, um, I might not. This might look totally different. Because my carrier layer is not as thick as my other one, but that's all right. Had to be my idea for my cuff. I mean, there's a lot of people that's done the sunset cups. I just looked for a different sunset picture. I looked for one that had a lot of the colors that I had already. Um, I used it for the header for this um, for this video. But there's a lot of people that's done sunset beach cups. A lot. I was not the one that um, created that technique by any means. do is I'm going to mix just a teeny tiny bit more of this epoxy. Tommy, no, I did not. Why, is someone in their fields because that I use the colors they order? I don't pack orders, guys. Um, is that really what's going on? Okay. Well, good luck with y'all. If y'all are so mad, what is the problem? Like, you can put your blue wherever you want. I can put my pink wherever I want. Get over yourself. I'm, I'm thankful that you placed an order with our website, but I didn't pull your order. I didn't sign your ticket. I don't pull orders. I work in a different, my warehouse is not even where I'm at right now. Are you mad? I'm so sorry. Wow. Okay. Well, Tommy, um, thank you. Um, I did not see your order for this glitter. Um, I actually have used these same colors on another cup two weeks ago. Um, I don't take people's ideas. Okay. You can return your you can return that order if you'd like. I will refund you fully. Mine is shipping. By all means. By all means. I'm sorry you feel that way. So Tommy, if that's your real name, go ahead and send me an email and return your order and I will refund you mine to shipping. Y'all, I've had hours of videos. Um, and no, I've never been trolled before. So this is a first for me. So, sorry about that. I don't usually react. <laughs> it caught me off guard. <laughs> so, no. Um, I did not see Tommy's order. Whatever. Um, but I have... Um, there's a lot of people that's done these sunset cups. A lot of people. Um, and so, I looked for a picture that actually had the colors that I have in stock. And... Um, 
the colors that I had um, been meaning to use. So, wow, that was a first for me. That was a first for me. Huh. I was just trolled. <laughs> I'll explain it to you when I get off. Yeah. Hey, Melissa, write down that name for me, please. Please and thank you. Cool. All right, so I've mixed some more epoxy because I didn't have quite enough um, down there. Um, so this one is a little bit different. Um, don't forget to wipe your sticks because I already have a whole hot mess going on over here. Um, and I already got epoxy. Hopoxy or were. Yeah. That was really weird. Very weird. So bizarre. All right. So um, I'm going to actually do this in a little bit different. I'm going to actually drizzle a little bit of my clear epoxy in here. Um, so when you add clear epoxy on top of um, epoxy that already has color in it, it kind of creates cells. Uh, no, it's on, on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know. Tommy Wilson. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty Mr. Noel is gonna look it up. I'm pretty sure they didn't order. I can I could probably tell you who that was, but I won't. So when you put clear epoxy on top of um, somewhere where you already have colors, it kind of creates these cool little cells. So this will be this one is gonna look a little bit different, but it's still gonna be a beach. And I'm sorry for my reaction, guys. I don't normally react at all. Um, that just caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah, so if you can see like on the top, it's kind of it's kind of um, creating like these cool little voids. Um, see where you can like, it, you see it laying on top. So it's kind of creating like little water rivers or um, I call it a void or a cell or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Thank you. Um, I've never really had to worry about a troll before. Today was my first troll. Yay! A first, a first. I, I, my first troll. All right, so then I'm gonna make sure that all of that. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So now. Now we're back to cooking where we need to be cooking. And I didn't wipe off my stick again. Whoopsie. All right. All right. So now we're going to go back and we're going to lay our, our waves in again. Thanks, guys. All right. So we're going to go back a little bit higher again. This is with the white. I'm going to go back and make sure I have the Cajun sparkle the most on here. All right, so my Cajun Sparkle. I'm gonna add another little scotch to this just to bring back the gold a little bit more. So I'm kind of working backwards than I was with the other cup um, because I built up the, um, how dark it was doing the layers in the other one. So then my start product is pretty dark so now I'm having to go back again and darken it so um, and see this is why you don't mix it really fast did you see that big poof of um, mica dust poof there you go I guess so all right all right so let me whoops I'm a whole hot mess Tommy you got me frazzled 
You win. Good job. Good job. Good job. You win, girl. I mean, boy. All right, so I'm going to put that Cajun Sparkle all the way up here again. I'm going to put a little bit on my bottom down here because my bottom was looking a little naked. And we know we don't like naked bottoms. All right. Wipe your stick off. And then we're going to take the heat again. And then we're going to move around that Cajun Sparkle. Um, yeah, so it's epoxy. Um, Laura wants to know what's making the, the white waves. So it's epoxy and we're using... a. Um, crystal gold mica it's called cajun sparkle and um you mix it up and it, it creates that white thing so all right so then we're just going to tape this and move it again that is moving so it's it's been heated up a little bit so this is like really traveling so I'm gonna give it a second to catch up to where it needs to go I might add a little bit more of the clear in there um, I didn't start with a super thick carrier level I right, layer level um, and I just want to make sure there that was like that looked like a little um, fish eye there I don't want a fish eye. So what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of epoxy up here at this top because I want this cloud to be wispy. So hopefully you guys have picked up a couple tips where you could do this two different ways. So if you're seeing that it's not turning out the way that you like to, um, just keep pushing through it because you're going to get something. Of course, it's not going to be exactly the way it was um it's not going to be exactly like mine um but you're going to get something equally as beautiful like it's all art so you are um you're going to make something pretty um tulip i found a photo on the internet and it was colors that i already had so i try to use things that i already have Wanda, I will, definitely. All right, so then I'm gonna add some of um, this little wispies here, because I'm gonna blow those off. Um, Vanessa, probably because I'll put a decal on this, so um, I will probably put um, more, another coat of epoxy. Um, if I was just going to leave it like this, there probably would be no need. 
as long as it's smooth when you're done, which it should be because um, you just have that base layer of glitter, um, it should be perfectly smooth so you wouldn't have to. Kelly, I don't normally sell my cups. Um, I make them to show you guys how to do it and I really enjoy the teaching part of it. The selling part stresses me out a lot. So if you see your your white is not in the space that you want, you it's not where you want it, use your heat gun to blow blow it where you want it to go. So this one is totally different than the other one that I did, but I think it's equally as beautiful. So I'm gonna let it turn a few minutes this way and then I'm gonna reverse it and give it the other thing. So. Huh. Yeah, so I think it's uh, it definitely, looking at the other one, it's definitely totally different, but I think it's kind of pretty too. Let's see. There was something right here that I wanted. That was super concentrated. So I was gonna try to blow that out a little bit. Um, Amy um, asked what brand of alcohol inks. So I'm using um, Pinata Blanco White and the Cajun Sparkle Crystal Gold. So I'm alternating between the two of them. Yeah. Yes, I did. Um, Karen, it's in my Facebook group and I actually have uploaded it to um, the description of this video. So that's the header picture. and make it go the other way and I'm gonna leave it alone because I think I'm gonna muck it up too much yeah yeah so this has been the sunset cup the beach cup they've all been done a hundred thousand times no one owns the beach but God so um, you know, this is my interpretation. This is the colors that I picked that I liked from a photo that I liked. You know, um, so that's it. So um, I think I am pretty much done. Um, let me make, let me move some of this epoxy so I cannot get it over my arms. I'm not going to take my gloves off until I make sure everything is picked up because I think I have epoxy everywhere. So I done went through a half a roll of paper towels. Um, so let's see here. Let me wipe off these sticks that I keep telling y'all to wipe off and I don't wipe off. Good gravy. Just listen to my suggestions and not the way I do it. Oh, 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 oh. So, all right. 
I'm going to keep my mask on because I'm with the epoxy, but you can't see because it's so junky over there. But, um, huh. so that is my version of a sunset beach um, with the Cajun sparkle and the waves over the top. Um, both of them look totally different, but um, I think they're both equally beautiful. When they're dry, I will take pictures and I will post them on our Instagram and our Facebook and our, what's that other one? The Tiki Talkie. Um, the Tiki Talkie. So, um, oh, Stephanie, that's what I did. What? Do y'all have nothing else to do with your days? Good gravy. COVID got y'all tripping, yo. Um, who cares if a customer ordered it if that is the case? Thank you. Um, and I don't know what else to tell you. Thank you. I'm inspired by everything, everywhere I see. I don't take credit for anything. If you, Tommy, or whoever it is, um, who's the last one? Whoever. Um, are upset because someone else is using the same colors that you ordered. Um, do you think you're the only person that ever bought glitter? Just asking for a friend. Okay, I gotta get off here. So, um, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I apologize. Um, that totally threw me off. Um, and so, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have learned something and you wanna learn some more, come give us, um, come check us out over on Facebook. Um, if you, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, um, I don't know what else to say, but, uh, I appreciate you guys, and, um, if you want to see what this turns out like, uh, give us, come join us. Um, thank you guys for hanging out today, and, um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>